So yeah, so I'm doing a quick uh, video about uh, the guy that bought the AIDS drug and jacked up the price. He actually just spent like a million dollars on some rare Wu-Tang album, which everyone's back to hating him. Oh, he shouldn't have that. Oh, it's great that some stupid CEO spent a lot of money on something that no regular person needs to have. That way, the person that was hanging on to it, they probably got it for $50, just made a million dollars. That's great of that stupid CEO's money. People don't know how to complain. They complain about the wrong shit. Watch my video and I'm gonna tell you what the fuck you should be complaining about. Pay attention. I just love this shit, guys. Little known fact, everybody hates on this CEO guy that bought the AIDS pill for a dollar and then, or bought it and it was at $13 a pill and then jacked it up to $750 a pill. Everyone wants to hate on the liberal left of America of the world. Like, it's one of those, I get to be right and no one can doubt me issues. Well, there's actually more to the story, and I just want to get on this guy's side for a second, and uh, just to piss people off, and plus, I really, uh, I fucking think everyone's wrong on this, so pay attention, you dumbasses. Fact of the matter is, the guy bought the, uh, he was a hedge fund guy, whatever, he's 32, the guy's my age, he bought uh, the, the rights to the pills, an old ass pill for that was being used for AIDS patients. Um, and he jacked the price up so he could raise money to do research and development to create a better AIDS medicine. That's the part that the liberal people don't want to talk about. Pricing is not this race to the bottom scenario that everyone thinks is like, we have to lower prices. No, you don't. You don't have to lower prices. Some things need to go up in price and sometimes people need to make more money. But it shouldn't be done through forced coercion and minimum wage. It should be done through... Uh, reducing restrictions on the free market and letting individuals uh, go after goals and introduce new products and services into the marketplace. So the notion that uh, this guy is this evil doer is a bunch of bullshit. First of all, guys, I'm gonna tell you something. People that have the money to buy the rights to an AIDS medicine aren't usually maniacal evil people because they would be stopped in their tracks. This guy's not stupid enough to spend all this money to raise prices so that a competitor can research and develop the same uh, thing, tweak a little bit, and then sell it for uh, a tenth of the price and make a fortune. He knows that this is gonna infect, affect the insurance companies more than it's gonna affect the individuals because the individuals have coverage for that medicine pre-existing. So he's actually not even affecting the cost right now downstream for any individuals. It might have a longer term policy effect uh, on the cost, but he knows Obamacare and other things are going to affect it anyway. So business people think 10 steps ahead. People that are like, oh, what a jerk. You guys have to stop for a second and think, do I know anything at all about business? Have I ever done anything entrepreneurial in my entire life before I judge someone pricing a product that they own the rights to? Anyone else can come in and offer that guy a higher amount and buy him out. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates. Bill Gates is supposedly spending billions of dollars a year. You don't hear him stepping up in the news and buying that guy out and lowering the price back down. Why wouldn't he? That'd be great PR. Because he knows that guy's up to a good end. He knows that guy is going to try to create a better drug, a better solution for AIDS. So anyway, people, stop acting like you know everything and think as a contrarian for a second. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what else, guys, too? I think it'd be fucking hilarious if that guy got a talk show. I would watch that shit. You know, everyone hating on him and he, he being this supposedly arrogant douchebag CEO and him having like a Elon Musk but like edgier but not to the point of Trump excess uh, type of talk show where he interviewed entrepreneurs and, and, and business people and dispelled the myth around the liberal conspiracy against business and against people uh, engaging in free market voluntary interactions. So. Um, I'm laying down on a soapbox right now, so I'm going to roll off of it and go do something else. But thank you guys for checking out my video, and tell me what you think in the comments. Peace.